Hi, welcome to RDM Getting Started for Team Step 9, Grant Permissions. As you've seen the previous steps, roles and top level folders are really important in RDM because you see permissions and credentials can be inherited by whatever is contained under the top level folders. So by only applying permissions to your top level folder, everything that will be under a session or entries, which sometimes we call children uh, entry or child entry, will automatically inherit the permissions, making it fast and easy to manage. RDM role-based access control allows you to create a granular protection system that is quite flexible. So let's see how it works. So our fictional company, Windjammer, has two roles, help desk and service desk. And there are two client company, Downhill Pro and Telemark. The service desk will have permission to view and open all entries, but will only be able to edit the entries in Downhill Pro and Telemark. The help desk will have the permission to view and open entries in Downhill Pro and Telemark, but will not have the permission to add entries or edit them. So I'll start by granting permission to my top level folder, which are Downhill Pro, Telemark and Windjammer. I'll select my Downhill Pro folder. I'll select my Downhill Pro folder. Click on Folder Properties, then on Permissions. Click on the Permission drop-down menu and select Custom. Then next to View, select Custom and select the role you wish to grant permission to. So I'll select Help Desk and Service Desk and repeat the same step to grant the Add and Edit only to the Service Desk. And I leave never for delete permissions since really I don't want anyone to have delete permissions. So with those permissions set, the service desk users will be able to open, add and edit all entries in the downhill folder. And the help desk will be able to view all entries in the downhill pro folder without being able to add or edit them. Now for the telemark folder, I will grant the proper permissions to the help desk and the service desk. The service desk has view, add and edit permission and the help desk only has view permissions. Finally, we have the Windjammer folder. We will grant view to the service desk only since we want them to be able to use the entry stored under the top folder. And since we don't want them to add or edit anything, we will set the add, edit and delete to never. Remember at the beginning how I told you to add the permission section in your navigation pane? And I'm going way back in our steps right now. But you'll see why. You see, this is the column. How it makes it easy with just a quick glimpse to see which roles have permissions under which folder. Let's take a look at the final result of all those permissions set. Here's what the service desk would see. See, they have the permission to view and open all entries, but can only edit entries in the downhill and telemark folder. Now let's see what the help desk can see. They can view and open entries in the downhill pro and telemark folder only, but can't edit them. And if you look at the windjammer folder, as you can see, only the service desk uh, can see them. So there you go. You now have all your permissions set and you're ready for step 10. Import your data. Only one more to go before being all set up and ready to use RDM for good.
So you remember at the beginning, like way at the beginning, I told you to add the permission section in your net. So if you remember at the beginning, maybe in step one or two, um, I told you to add the permission section. Um, so remember at the beginning of all those videos, I told you to add the permission section in your navigation pane. Now you can see why it makes it easy with just a glimpse of the eye. Um, it makes it easy with just a glimpse uh, to see which roles have permissions on which folder.